Um, but I do have some, a, a, a small suggestion, an Easter egg, if you like. I think we should consider what Westminster Council is doing. It's uh, raised the voluntary top band contribution, and it's, ra sorry, it's not raised the top band voluntary contribution. It has raised five, uh, 500,000 pounds by a voluntary top band contribution to those who pay the highest level of council tax, and they're using that to support youth services and to also provide uh, shelter for rough sleepers. I won't say much about policing, as much has been said by that, but the fact is that this council has nearly 470 million of residents' money in reserves. It was returning about 0.7% per annum. It's now ticked up a bit to 1.4%, but it's still bumping along the bottom. The council has spent 37 million pounds trying and failing to fix children's services. There are overspends on adult care and a rise in general overspending predicted for next year. We are heavily reliant on spending down the reserves. And a Tory government is creating an even more hostile environment for London councils. The future is not brighter for Wandsworth. A Tory Wandsworth is losing its reputation for sound financial management. Things could be different. Our amendment shows a fair, balanced, responsible approach to council tax and financial management in stark contrast to the majority party's weakening grip on Wandsworth's finances. We're calling for a council tax freeze. We invite you to join us. Point of order, Mr Mayor. Councillor Hampton. Uh, standing order number 28. Uh, Mr Mayor, I move that the council adjourn for 30 seconds. Have you got seconders, Councillor Hampton? I have indeed. Uh, Councillor Belton. No, no, I was on the button. I was on the button. Uh, I was on the button. I'm afraid not, Councillor Belton, on this occasion. Can I, can I invite you to wait for an hour? Yes, Councillor Hampton, um, have we picked up your um, seconders? Right, yes. it's Councillor Angela Graham. I have, Mr. Mayor, can okay, I, Councillor Hampton. Thank you. I have the pleasure to live and run a business. Yes, a real live business that employs people and makes a profit. I have witnessed the regeneration of St. Mary's Park Ward at first hand from an industrial wasteland into a thriving community with all the benefits that that brings. The consequences and disruptions have in part been offset by a large amount of sill that has been generated in this particular area. This council recognises that the Diamond Jubilee footbridge over the Thames will greatly benefit residents and that this has almost universal local support. To date, planning has been agreed. Historic England have signed it off. The developers of Lombard Tower have put in footings for the bridge. And we have had exploratory works on the base of the Thames to check the subsoil. But the council simply cannot commit more than the 18 million already earmarked. Another 18 million is needed to deliver this project. Can I ask all of the council particularly our GLN member, Leone Cooper, to join with me in requesting that TfL and the Mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, reduce more funding to keep this project alive, to allow public and private initiatives the time to develop a bridge that will be a great asset for my community and also promotes the aspirations of a cleaner, greener, and healthier London. So, Mr. Mayor, I move that the council adjourns. How long do you propose the council should adjourn for, Councillor Hampton? Sorry, Mr. Mayor. I How long are you proposing the council adjourn 30 for? 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Okay, all those in favour? Oh, sorry, hang on. Councillor Cook, do you want to respond? If I may, Mr. Mayor, uh, thank you very much. Um, I wholeheartedly agree with Councillor Hampton. I'm very uh, grateful to have a drawing attention to this issue. Uh, it's been an aspiration of this council for, uh, I think, two decades now uh, to plug what is a very, very obvious gap 
in the transport needs of this part of the borough. And of course, the need has just grown and grown and grown. Uh, and it is now very obvious. Uh, the uh, cost-benefit analysis comes out at a whopping two to one. Uh, the modeling from TFL uh, tells us that it will be used by uh, 1.4 million people every year, 200,000 cycle journeys, cycle and footbridge, of course, which is exactly what we should be encouraging. A healthy streets agenda, getting people out of cars, encouraging people to walk or cycle if they possibly can. Uh, there is also a big gap between the two existing bridges across the Thames. It is a very, very obvious thing that is needed. Uh, so instead of just talking about it, what have we done about it? Well, it bears repetition, going back over some of the things which Councillor Hampton has just described. Uh, we have got uh, designed, we've granted planning permission, matched on the other side, we've got footings in, we've done site surveys, the pre-commencement -con conditions have been discharged, uh, we've done various different uh, surveys, uh, right down to the detail of checking for ordnance on the, the bed of the river. Um, it is, and, and of course we've put in place a uh, supplementary planning document through which we have derived the 18 million pounds of SIL, which we reckon is about half the cost. So instead of just talking about it, I think it is fair to say that we really could hardly have done more to try and make this happen. And we've lobbied. Boy, have we lobbied. And we've lobbied the one body that one might expect to be kind of interested in this, Transport for London. And we really haven't got very far. And it is hugely, hugely disappointing. And so I would absolutely endorse everything that Councillor Hampton has said, implore our Assembly member to do all she can to persuade TfL and the Mayor that this is a gap that needs to be plugged and that we need to get on with it. We have put money where our mouth is. We've done an awful lot. And as I say, we can hardly do more. And this is something we need to get on with. Councillor Cooper, do you want to say something? Um, I think I'd better do a point of personal explanation as I've now been named by two different councillors, if that's agreeable, Mr Mayor. I know you're just about to move to the vote. Um, I was actually on the committee when we first discussed this bridge. And I uh, seem to remember um, being told that the whole of the cost of the bridge was going to be funded through the private sector. Now, that is clearly not the case. And what you're talking about now is asking for the other half of the money to come from TfL. You know as well as I do that the government, I've just made a speech about the amount of money the government has taken away from uh, the police and the mayor. You know as well as I do that all the people in this borough pay vehicle excise duty. Oh, I'm sorry, can I just finish my point, please? The 700 million pounds has been taken out of the TfL budget. There are two big schemes that are still going to be funded in this borough. If there is money available right. for the bridge, uh, I'm sure TfL, Council Leone -Cooper, I'm sure TfL uh, will put the money in. However, point of personal explanation. However, the best way to lobby to get the to money me. for the bridge is to talk to the government about reinstating £700 million taken out of TfL's budget. And you know that as well as I do. Councillor Hampton, I didn't hear you mention anything about buses. Um, Mr. Mayor, I was very much talking about the bridge. TfL yes, is okay. responsible for the bridge. Stricking strictly to the point. Are you happy then with... Um uh, no, indeed I am not. I think that this is so important that I would like to send a united message to TfL about the footbridge. I'm sure we'll send a united message. The motion now before the Council is that the Council do now adjourn for 30 seconds to draw attention to the matters raised by Councillor Hampton. All those in favour? Anybody against? Any abstentions? Motion carried unanimously. Council now adjourns for 30 seconds.
Councillor Senior. Uh, th thank you, Mr Mayor. Uh, here at last. Uh, Mayor, on a point. <laughs> yes, Councillor Belton, what standing order would that be? The same one that has just been referred to, actually, Mr Mayor. I'm just, uh, all I wish to do is... Oh, what standing order was that, then? Uh, yeah. so you're very good on these details, Mr Mayor. I've noticed it in your, all your years on committees. You're very good at them. The people's names and the awards they come from. I'm sorry, I've forgotten the number, but 28, I'm assured. I just want to give notice that... Okay, the what's the point of order, time, Councillor Belton? At the appropriate time, I wish to move the adjournment to the Council. Right, what, is the, what is the point of your personal explanation, no, please? It isn't. Point of order, Mr Mayor. Under the standing orders, it's not allowed to pre-book your adjournment motions. Ah, so you Which you apparently want is what Councillor Hampton did. So I'm pre-booking. I'm putting it into your mind, Mr, Mr. Mayor. Uh, Councillor Senior, would you like to carry on, please? Oh, thank you, Mr Mayor. Uh, I would like to thank all members for their contributions. Uh, like Councillor Sutters, I am, of course, a northerner from what I consider to be the right side of the Pennines. Uh, and indeed, I, I well remember the back-to-backs being demolished uh, when I was young and what an improvement that was. But somehow, Mr Mayor, some things always happen the same way, don't they? You know, every morning the sun rises in the east and every evening it sets in the west. Every year, ones of the Conservatives set a sensible uh, council budget, and every year, the ones of the Labour group fail to come up with any proper alternative whatsoever. We all remember at the last council meeting, Councillor Gibbons said there will be a fully costed plan at the next council meeting today. Is there a fully costed plan? Is there any sort of plan? No, of course there isn't. Now we have Mr. Mr. Mayor, point of personal explanation. Councillor Gibbons, yes. I, I, think, I think perhaps uh, Councillor Senior may have dreamt that in his, in his wilder fantasies. I've made no such undertaking. I'm afraid you did, Councillor, and as many of your colleagues will remember, you said that in your speech, there will be a fully costed plan. It is beyond belief. We have a Labour group now, larger than, than for many, many years. Whereas a Conservative group of three in Lambeth Council last year can put forward their own budget plan, this Labour group does not. And in the self-righteousness of the left, the extraordinary self-righteousness of the left, continue to put forward plans with no budget to the back of them up whatsoever. Councillor Belton, I will... Councillor Belton. Thank you. I would like to point out to Councillor Senior that that's not correct. If he wants, we can spend half an hour going through the council minutes and find them, but we definitely put forward motion, sometimes, certainly while he was on the council, including all kinds of issues, like, for instance, bonus pay for, uh, for senior officers. Many of the points that we made, I think I'm talking about, nine, about 2008, something like that, have now been accepted by the, the Tory party. It is just not true. It's not true that we've never done it, and you know it. The point remains, last meeting, we all promised a fully costed budget. We did not get it. This Labour group is more than capable, I would have thought, of doing so. Why does it not do it? Well, do they really uh, not want the people of this borough to know what they're up to? We're constantly lectured about how the Labour group run the election, but they won't actually tell us their plans. And indeed, we have a motion tonight proposing... But a the point is, so well, when we did do it, at all they stole about all how our it's going ideas. To be funded. And that is important. Now, it gives me no pleasure to, to that, That's why we're filming this, so that you can't in, tell in, lies in, about in, what we did or didn't say. Tax. I'm a Conservative. Uh, I believe in small government. Senior. I believe in low tax. And I'm proud of all three. But we have to remember, on this I do agree with Councillor Gibbons, uh, that there are many pressures in local government financing already. We have, yes, the horrible uh, pantechnican of so-called fairer funding coming down the runway. We have, as Councillor Critchard said quite correctly, considerable pressures on our social care funding. And there are all sorts of other issues we have to, have to look at. The fact that the government can't, for example, allow us to set a uh, level of fees for some of our services that actually cover the costs that we have. So that's why, reluctantly, I think it is appropriate at this particular time to put up a council tax more than we would normally do. But what do we still have? We still have the lowest average council tax in the country by some £200. We still have a council tax that is lower in real terms than it was 10 years ago. We are still providing value for many services for our local people. We still have a substantial capital investment programme. We still have 
100 percent uh, invested uh, pro uh, in pension funds. Yet every time we ask the Labour Party for their suggestions, what do we get? Nothing very much indeed. Sorry, Mr. Mayor. Mr. No explanation. Mr. Mayor, on where point of explanation, wait, I've Bell proved once, once that we've all have done anymore. that, and that is a lie, Councillor Senior, and you know it. That is complete nonsense. We were promised it a fully costed budget at the last council meeting. We have not got it. How can the people of this borough have any respect in the Labour Party when they come up with that sort of statement and then do not deliver? As I've said before. This council delivers. It delivers on a properly funded budget. It delivers on a balanced budget. It delivers on the lowest average council tax in the country. That's why the people of this borough can have confidence in our administration of the borough, and long may that continue. The matter now before the Council is the amendment moved by Councillor Gibbons and seconded by Councillor Wintle on the adoption of the Council's budget and council tax for 2019-20. stroke Paragraph number two of report number one. Councillors, um, when I call your name, please indicate whether you are voting for the amendment, voting against the amendment, or abstaining. Here we go. Councillor Akinola. Councillor Ambash. For the amendment. Councillor Anderson. For. Councillor Belton. Councillor Binder, 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 sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Against. Thank you. <laughs> sorry, against. Councillor Birchall. Against. Councillor Byrne. Against. Councillor Caddy. Councillor Calland. Against. Councillor Carpenter. Councillor Cook, Councillor Jane Cooper, Mrs. Councillor Mrs. Lonely Cooper, four. Councillor Critchard, four. Councillor Crivelli, Councillor Daly, Councillor Dawson, Councillor Denfield, four. Councillor Dickadam, Councillor Ellis. Councillor Field? Councillor Fluke? Against. Councillor Forbes? Four. Councillor Fraser? Four. Councillor Gasser? Four. Councillor Gibbons? Four. Councillor Gilbert? Four. Councillor Govindia? Four. Councillor Mrs. Graham? Four. Councillor Peter Graham? Yes. Councillor Grimston? Apologies. Say that again. Um, hang on. Oh, against. Is that again? <laughs> <laughs> Councillor Mrs. Hampton. <laughs> Councillor Hart. <laughs> Councillor Henderson. Uh, four. <laughs> Councillor Hogg. Four. Councillor Humphreys. Yes. Councillor Island. Four. Councillor Jones. Councillor Lua? Yes. Councillor Locker? Yes. Councillor Mrs. McDermott? Yes. Councillor McKinney? Yes. Councillor McLeod? Yes. Councillor Morgan? Yes. Councillor Moat? Yes. Councillor Bryn? Yes. Councillor Richard Jones? Yes. Councillor Rigby? Absolutely. Councillor Ryder? Yes. Councillor Salier? Councillor Senior, yes. Councillor Stock, yes. Councillor Mrs. Sutters, yes. Councillor Sweet, yes. Councillor Mrs. Torrington, yes. Councillor Walker, Four. Councillor Walsh, yes. Councillor White, yes. Councillor Wintle.
in terms of no abstention. So the amendment is not uh, twenty four thirty. What are the other things? Yeah, then we move to a substantive motion. Okay, so correct your appendix. Yeah. And then can I move? Yeah, so you need to announce that the yeah, amendment is being lost. Uh, twenty four thirty. The amendment is lost twenty four thirty. Right, um, councillors, the amendment is lost 24.30. So the matter now before the council is a motion on the adoption of the council's budget in council tax for 2019 stroke 20, paragraph two, report number one. Councillors, here we go again. Um, when I call your name, please indicate whether you're voting for the motion, voting against the motion, or abstaining. Councillor Akinola. Sorry. <laughs> Councillor Ambash. <laughs> Councillor Anderson. <laughs> Councillor Belton. <laughs> Councillor Binder. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Councillor Binder. Four, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Uh, Councillor Birchall. Four. Councillor Byrne. Four. Councillor Caddy. Councillor Calland. Councillor Carpenter. Councillor Cook. Councillor Jane Cooper. Councillor Leone Cooper. Against. Councillor Critchard. Against. Councillor Crivelli. Councillor Daly. Councillor Dawson. Councillor Denfield. Councillor Dickerdom. Councillor Ellis. Councillor Field. Councillor Fluke. Councillor Forbes. Councillor Fraser. Councillor Gasser. Councillor Gibbons. Councillor Gilbert. Councillor Govindia. Councillor Mrs. Graham. Councillor Peter Graham. Councillor Grimston. Councillor Mrs. Hampton. Councillor Hart. Councillor Henderson. Councillor Hogg. Councillor Humphreys. Councillor Ireland. Councillor Jones. Councillor Lua. Councillor Locker. Councillor Mrs. McDermott. Yes. Councillor McKinney. Yes. Councillor McLeod. Yes. Councillor Morgan. Yes. Councillor Moat. Yes. Councillor Brin. Yes. Councillor Richards Jones. Yes. Councillor Rigby. Absent. Councillor Ryder. Yes. Councillor Salier. Absent. Councillor Senior. Yes. Councillor Stock. Councillor Mrs. Sutters. Councillor Sweet, absent. Councillor Mrs. To Ms. Torrington. Councillor Walker. Against. Councillor Walsh. Councillor White. Councillor Wintle. 